Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Isn't she precious? Less than one minute Oh, I never thought through love we'd be Making one as lovely as she But isn't she lovely Made from love Isn't she pretty Truly the angel's best Boy, I'm so happy We have been heaven blessed I can't believe restricted coming at you so it is um through july 13th friday the 13th i am um 38 weeks pregnant this week and 100 weeks post-op how crazy is that and it's friday the 13th and i have 15 days until i'm due it's a crazy day today um i wanted to do one last uh sort of video of the nursery before i have a baby in my nursery so um i was just gonna show you guys i have a couple of things that need to be put away but you can get the gist of things. Um, I'm also going to take some pictures and I'll probably post them just so I have them for my baby book and all that jazz. So, here we go. Okay. So, we got these little guys. Um, we hung up that um, little scrabble board that my aunt made for me. Super cute. Just all the mm, baby, baby stuff in her crib. Cute. Can't believe there's going to be a baby in there soon. Um, I finally hung up my little um, isn't she lovely things and a little clock and daddy has some work to do right here. Um, and then diaper pail and then in here we have cloth diapers uh, some of them are in the diaper bag for the hospital. Another wet bag and some more wipes. Um, we have cloth wipes in here. Ready to go. They're not wet yet. I've got jazz here. Butt cream. Nipple cream. A different type of nipple cream. Um, I need a little spray gun for this. I need to make a list of randoms I need that and I just got some stuff from Etsy actually um, this is a car seat not a car seat a stroller a stroller jazz thing um, my cousin had actually got me the one that was on my registry and I realized I registered for a blue one that was not really brilliant of me so I ended up taking it back and then using the money to buy this one from Etsy because it's you know my colors it actually is kind of green instead of yellow, but that's okay. Um, and then I got this uh, cover, nursing cover. That's so super cute. And it came with some random pads. Oh, I got these from Etsy, too. These are organic, um, you know, breast pads, you know, when your boobs are leaking. I don't know how to say that. Breast pads, I think they're called. Um, I just got this in the mail yesterday. This is from a good friend of mine. Cute stuff. I need to wash it and hang it up. Um, I got a package from the Banded Bitches. They sent me some cute gift card, a little cute bib, pink bow, not a bow, headband, and some super cute outfits. Oh my gosh. I just cannot believe there's going to be a human in my house that is small enough to fit in this stuff. Um, that blows my mind. So thank you, ladies. You need to send me your addresses so I can officially thank you. I think this is so precious. Oh my gosh. It's a little jumper. And then a cute little... Girl stuff is so cute. Mm. Okay, so then we have our closet all... Oh, everything's pink, as I figured it would be. So I organized everything to be... Like, this here is newborn, zero to three, three months, and then the next stuff is like three to six months. Um, swaddlers... The one of those is like socks and socks and like the little diaper covers, and then the other is like hats and 
bows and bibs, and then swaddlers, extra sheets for the bed, burp cloths, um, my diaper wreath my cousin made for me. I tried to hang it up, but I don't know, it's like impossible to hang that thing. Um, we have, these are extra blankets, my little boppy or whatever that thing, what is that thing called? Bumbo seat. Um, just some extras, my baby Bjorn. And then I have another one from this other company, I can't remember what it's called, but it's kind of like a baby Bjorn. Um, and these are older clothes, like uh, 6 to 12, 12 to something and older than that. I didn't hang all of them up because I had to go buy hangers, which I now have, so I need to hang up some stuff that I have in drawers. Um, up here I have, this is like a little daisy thing that you can bathe them in. Stuff that I don't really need yet, that I didn't open, um, and just extra bottles that I need to open, some shadow boxes that I obviously don't have pictures to put in yet, and a million wipes. <laughs> um, I just put some randoms on this little thing my dad painted for me. Um, this is actually a little derby car that he made when he was a kid, and I don't know, my grandmother wanted me to have it. Hello! Okay. What's in here? Um, my uh, pump, breast pump, diaper, diapers for when she's older, um, pre-folds, these are extra inserts, and then a crap ton of um, McKinsey, we don't believe that you're going to really cloth diaper, so my mother has given me a million diapers. So, that is pretty much it. That's the, uh, the nursery as it clothes. Yeah, so um, we actually had a little scare yesterday. Um, I'm going to call it a dry run to the hospital. Okay, so I went to go to the bathroom and I kind of like felt like I peed before I peed, if that makes sense. So I thought maybe, I don't know, maybe my water broke. Um, and then my pants were like wet, like I peed on myself. But it didn't Everyone kept asking me, does it smell like pee? Well, no, it didn't smell like pee, so um, it just smelled weird. So I I just went downstairs because I work literally upstairs from my OB's office. I went downstairs and I'm like, I just want Dr. Bertrand to check me. No big deal. Dr. Bertrand is in Colorado until Monday. So no big deal turned in, into, oh my gosh, you have to go to the hospital and get checked now because you have to be checked by um, someone you have to be checked. So I was like, okay, I really don't want to go to the hospital, um, but I had no choice. Really. I guess I could have said absolutely not, I'm not going. But she literally called L&D while I was sitting in the doctor's office, like, no, I really don't want to go. No, I really, really don't want to go. Um, but because I'm 38 weeks, or I was like, you know, 37 in seven days, or six days, or whatever yesterday, they pretty much forced me to go. So I spent four hours in L&D, um, in triage, pretty much got checked by a nurse, who was super rough, and then the doctor checked and was like, sack's still in place, you may have lost um, my mucus plug, so, um, you know, still ticking time bomb, I'm ready when she's ready. Uh, the girl at work is all good, um, I have someone to replace me, which is awesome, and we're good, so we're just kind of dootin' doo doo at this point. Um, my mom said that she had my brother and I one week early, so I keep saying the 22nd, like, I don't know, that's just like the day that's in my head, but we'll see. 15 days, or more, I don't know. Uh, my doctor will let me go to like 42 weeks, so we'll see what happens. Um, my weight currently, I do know what it was because I was weighed in the hospital, um, 103 kilos which is like approximately 227 pounds um, yeah so I feel super bloated super swollen um, I don't have ankles anymore I definitely have cankles now um, everything just feels huge but uh, the weather has actually been sort of nice here in Texas like it's been hot but not I mean last year we had 60 plus days over 100 and it's like 90 ish today so it's really nice uh, so that's very very helpful I'm probably gonna get my pool today and what else eating's been you know okay I, I just cannot eat very much anymore I can eat a little bit I'm definitely having um, 
kind of graphic. Um, a lot of like, I've never been constipated my whole pregnancy. A lot of people complain about constipation while they're pregnant. I've had some of the best BMs since I've been pregnant since ever. So I haven't worried about that at all. Definitely having more like slippery slope <laughs> um, than usual. I don't know if it was something that I ate yesterday. I really didn't feel like I... I had like a Subway sandwich, half of, you know, like a six inch yesterday. And when I came home, I had some waffles. So I don't really know what I would have eaten yesterday that would have made me do that, but it is what it is. Um, anything else? Mentally, I am good with my weight. Um, I think once I got back in the 200s, it was like, it is what it is. I'm, you know, I'm heavier than I was pre-op but not heavier than I ever was so and when I look at myself in pictures I don't have that I definitely have a double chin going on but I don't have that huge fat face like I did when I was um, you know 246 pounds so you want a little body shot I know y'all see a body shot in my picture but here I am trying to be here I am I don't know how I can get myself in this and not look stupid definitely have the bump um, definitely having, they said that yesterday when I was in the hospital, I was having contractions. Oh, there I am. Um, I was having contractions, but it wasn't, um, I guess more Braxton Hicksy. Uh, I don't know. They don't hurt. They're not exactly comfortable, but it doesn't hurt. So, I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, like I said, I am due on the 28th of July, so hopefully she comes sometime between then and now. That would be nice. I really, um, Louise keeps joking that, oh, it's going to be August 1st, and I'm like, no, I will have this baby in July. I have not had, I'm going to have a July baby, I'm going to have a July baby all this time for her to be born on August 1st. Um, hmm, that will make me crazy. So, yeah. I guess that's it, and I guess I will see you guys next week, hopefully with a baby and not still pregnant. Um, kind of over it at this point, let's just say that. Uh, it's It gets rough. It gets definitely gets rough at the end. So anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Alright, love you. Bye.